welcome to another Age Soul War author interview. And we're joined today by Ana Lucia Arujo, who is an is a full professor at Howard University. She is from Brazil. And I think the unique one that I have not had before, she actually has a Wikipedia page devoted to her. Um, and if I got it correctly from your CV, you have three PhDs. You have a PhD in art history from the Université Laval, and you also have a PhD in history from the University in Laval. And you got a social and historical anthropology doctorate from EHESS in Paris in France. That is quite impressive, I have to say. Um, it's and the second the second PhD indeed is um is a co tutel that you call, then it's a joint PhD, but we have two diplomas. Then we receive a diploma in one discipline from Ecole des Institutes Sciences Sociales in Paris and then another one from Canada. This is wow. why. Still <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Still impressive. And you have published a large number of books, including uh, Public Memory of Slavery, Shadow of the Slave Past, um, Reparations of Slavery and the Slave Trade, and the one we're talking today about, and the backgrounds of both of our pictures are filled with it, mm -hmm. Slavery in the Age of Memory, which just came out this um, few weeks ago, actually, I think, at time of recording, I should mm -hmm. add. Um, so, Tell us a little bit about how do you how you came to write this book. What 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 drove the decision for it? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, then as you uh, mentioned the, the 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 previous books that I that I had, I had a book uh, of two thousand and ten, another one from two thousand and fourteen. I believe, yes, that uh, I have been dealing with the issue of visual culture of slavery and memory of slavery. Then the I've been working on this for about almost 20 years. And um, I've been focusing on uh, then trying to find connections between different contexts is how uh, people in the past, uh, the, in the present, they engage with the, the past of the slavery. And I have been doing this more focusing on particular areas than first in Brazil and uh, West Africa. Then when I moved to the United States in 2008, I started including the United States uh, in this work. But uh, the decision to write this book, I uh, was finishing that book on uh, reparations. That is a short uh, history of the demands for reparations uh, for slavery. And it was exactly at that moment when we had first Black Lives Matter uh, emerging in at the same time the, the those debates regarding uh, the Confederate monuments. And it was at the point when uh, that white supremacist in Charleston uh, killed then uh, uh, it was that massacre then in uh, the Emmanuel Church uh, in 2015 and from there we are going to have many historians who started for the first time here in the United States more uh, intervening on this debate about uh, about memory which was a topic that um, indeed, many historians were not necessarily interested because historians, they are looking much more uh, than to at written sources with, uh, they are working with the, the traditional uh, written archives. And the idea of the book was uh, to inform these debates that were going on uh, in the past. Uh, as I had that background, having worked then on discontested memories of slavery, for example, in Republic of Benin, which is in West Africa, and uh, is a society that was deeply involved with um, uh, the Atlantic slave trade, and where we find uh, today then descendants of uh, slave owners, descendants of slave traders, 
descendants of enslaved people who came back to that area from Brazil, then I was pretty much um, familiar, I would say, first with uh, the concepts, but also with uh, these debates uh, taking place then um, uh, in the field. And this is why uh, I told myself it would be important to have a book that inform people who perhaps are not necessarily very familiar with these debates about the different modalities, what is memory, what is history, and the different modalities of uh, memory as it relates to um, to slavery. And, um, and in, in my opinion, and continues to be, uh, at that point at least, there were many historians who, even historians were then mixing up this two different kinds of discourses about the past. There are uh, history and, and memory. And this is why the book wanted to, uh, my idea was to, to intervene in this, uh, in this debate in a moment when people uh, then in their daily lives were uh, facing the issue of um, then taking down monuments, taking down the Confederate flag. Uh, and then when the book started progressing, of course, we are having these debates now, not only, of course, here in the United States, but I would say um, it's, it, it's, an, it's an issue that is global now.